good camera, man. Yeah, it's a R6. Yeah, nice, nice. You look good on it. What's up, Raj? Morning, Tony. Doable time. Yeah. Morning, Candice. Good morning. How you doing today? Good. How are you? I'm good. Good morning, Shari. Good morning. It's a happy place. Yo, what's up, Van Basic? Welcome to the vlog today. We have made it to another hotel, but this is not the one we're staying at in Warsaw, to my knowledge. But the story continues, guys. It continues right here at this hotel. This is where refugees are being taken to. Tomorrow, we're gonna be on a flight with them to Israel. Let me get Shari to help. Stop filming me. Stop filming me. What's up, bro? They are coming now to a new home. So imagine with me for a second, guys, that you're a Jewish refugee fleeing your home from Ukraine out of fear of, of your life and then being transported from the border to this hotel where you'll be staying until your flight. So this is the eyes of them after fleeing for their safety. And just kind of, you know, in contrast to the Holocaust. So this is, what's your name? My name is Natalia. Natalia. I just wanted to ask you, she's a refugee, I just wanted to ask you, what has your experience been coming from your home in Ukraine to this hotel? This hotel? Yes. It's very good. Very good? I was, I was, I want to say another word, very, very, very good. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you very much for all the people who do it, who pay money for this who think about all these people who, for example, I, I lose my home in this hotel. I feel warm. I, I can see people who think about me and my future. Oh. This is really true. Awesome. You know, you have very beautiful blue eyes. Uh. I see your eyes. I could, cannot lie. <laughs> Thank you. Natalia was just adorable and I kept talking to her after our little interview and she told me that she's headed to Israel on the 27th so by the time this video comes out she may be there. She was incredibly thankful. She just kept saying thank you over and over and over. And um, now we're going upstairs to go see the humanitarian work. Uh, you see there's like clothing as I told you we have a lot of uh, women with really uh, like uh, small children that's what we can give them we have also uh, different diapers here and there uh, behind you there's like some food some uh, porridges uh, some purees uh, and so on so it's uh, also what we can help with when people yeah. 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 Raj, I heard you sniffling in there. As the, um, I was holding back to you. Yeah. What, what got you? So, you know, we've been to Majdanek, we've been to Auschwitz, we've been to the border of Ukraine, but that hit so differently just because it was a room of clothes, uh, kids' clothes, and I have a three year old. Yeah. yeah. Um, not just seeing myself, but seeing my son as a refugee. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I've already cried too many tears. Okay. <laughs>
Here's the camera. His phone. He just texted me. Oh. This is the visa phone for Israel. I'll just take one. So today Anya is telling uh, people about what uh, what is waiting there because these are the people who are going to be on the flight tomorrow and uh, Anna tells what they're going to receive, how is it going to be organized. Sure. How many hotels did you say you guys booked at one point? What was so the max amount at one time? Uh, the Jewish agency had four hotels in Warsaw at the beginning and now they have this one. I gotta get a scooter. I'm getting a scooter tonight. You wanna go? What the heck? Look at this place. Studio light? This might be the nicest hotel I've ever been in. I was telling Raj, I think what's so awesome about what Kufi and Israel Collective is doing, once all the survivors die off, there's only 300,000 left and they're dying every day. Once they all die off, the story is going to start dying off as well, kind of like the Titanic. You know, we forgot about it and now people just joke about it. What they're doing is awesome because it's allowing us to get on the ground and experience it in a way that is com so compelling for us that we're, we're going to be able to express it to our children so much better. I can't tell you how much more important this seems to me than ever before and how it has increased the importance for me of getting it across to my children of what happened there and um, how to avoid it and love every single nationality and ethnicity and religion. Man, it's just crazy, but I'm gonna go explore the city of Warsaw a little bit. We're headed off early in the morning with some of the people we met today on an airplane to Israel. So we're following them through this whole story. What an incredible experience. I cannot believe I get to be a part of this. And for a second time already, I'm going to Israel for a second time already. And when I was there, I said, I'm definitely coming back. That's what I told people. I was like, I know for a fact I'll be back here. I told people that. And it's happening tomorrow. <sighs> if I don't come back, I love you guys. And don't forget to love each other. And he loves you. So, see you tomorrow on our trip to Israel, right? Yeah.